ladies and gentlemen, how are you? Welcome to Adult Education Ingredient. My name is Rosalia Wong. Guess what I'm going to bring you today? Today, the topic is called the Learning Style Instruments. <laughs> Christmas and wish uh, all you all the best year to come in 2021. So let's get started. So today um, I want to uh, emphasize that in my past previous videos I have made uh, is the title the topic is called the uh, how, how much you know about cognitive theories and cognitive learning strategies. You can watch um, the video from the link above. It is related to my topic today. So actually uh, I have talked about uh, learning style instruments in this uh, in the previous uh, videos that I have just mentioned. So um, a little bit about the learning style instrument, if you want to understand and know more about it, you can watch on the li video uh, link above. So let's get started in, in, into this topic. So today there are many learning style instruments to aid the learners in adult continuing education. So my special focus today is the friendly 1993 research and selected uh, learning style instruments. Although uh, friendly selected learning style instruments are probably out of date to some of your educators today, but I think this is um, quite a good opportunity to uh, go into the uh, learning style instrument, the past research learning style instruments and to recall again, which might be of great used to today's maybe to adult um, education learning program. So for more information about uh, learning style instruments, is learning style instrument is help to enhance um, learners in their ability to learn. I will go into detail why it is um, it can enhance the learner ability to learn. Okay, for example, today I'm going to talk about the popular ones of past researchers using which, which are the Gratia Richmond uh, learning style instrument, the Greek learning style instrument, and the Corp learning style instrument. And also for also awesome suggestions and advices, you can put me link uh, to the link in the description section below, as I will give you all awesome some insights into what you need to know for your profession and your organization. Okay, let's get back to the topic again. So, friendly, uh, cleverly divided the selected learning style into three major dimensions. So, these three major dimensions are the uh, personal factors, the personality factors, the perceptual modalities, and the information processing dimension. So, you are able to subscribe to my channel by hitting the button, and you're most almost welcome. And uh, so, you don't miss anything because I bring you new ingredients, new inside and new topics every Monday and Thursday. Okay, let's get back to the topic again. So when we talk about the three dimensions, let's look at Croatia Richmond is uh, learning style instruments. What dimension uh, has it? Croatia Richmond learning style instruments is belongs to personality factors dimension. As you can see here, it has a, a statement or test um, and the learner can rank the scale from like from 1 to 5. This is just an example. And the statement will ask a very questions and the learners can choose which scale they want to put 1, 2, 3, 4 or 5. Like if they agree, disagree or uh, you know moderate or undecided, you know what scale they can, what number they put for the scale, um, according to the scale. So this is just an example of Gratia Richmond uh, learning style instrument. So Gratia learn, uh, Richmond learning style is instrument is very widely used, and it has norms especially uh, developed for adults, and evidence of validity is moderate, and has a strong evidence of reliability, and it is very strong in the strength of research base. If you like the um, uh, contents, um, remember to put a thumbs up and support me and share it with your friends. Thank you very much. Okay, let's get back to the topic again. So next uh, learning style instrument I'm going to focus on is a Greek learning style instrument. 
So learn, uh, critical learning style instrument is belongs to information processing dimension. It was um, produced. Uh, it was developed by Grigor in 1982, and it has a characteristic uh, for for four items. For example, the uh, abstract, the random, the concrete, and sequential. And uh, out of these four uh, items, there are um, further divided into ten sets. So I I have the link uh, for more detail. In you can look more detail into a uh, uh, Grigor uh, learning style instrument in my description section below. So. Uh, Grigor, the characteristic of Grigor learning style instrument is the same as um, uh, Gracia Richman. It has norms and it, of course it is um, de uh, develops for adults. It is uh, moderate in evidence of validity and it is uh, moderate in evidence of reliability and it is moderate in the strengths of research base and it is very strong in the overall of instrument usability and very widely used. Perhaps this is still used today. So, my next one, of course, is COPE Learning Style Instrument. So, COPE Learning Style Instrument is also belongs to information processing dimension. As you can see here, uh, the COPE Learning Style Instrument has four cycles, which is concrete experience, reflective, reflective observation, abstract conceptualization, and active experience. And it uh, further divides into four types of learner. Uh, learning style, uh, which is uh, accommodating, diverging, converging, or assimilating. Again, I got the uh, links on the in the description uh, section below. If you want to look into detail, what is called learning style instrument, you are most welcome to click the link and uh, go into detail and read about it. So, the characteristic of called learning style uh, instruments is that it has rank ordering for four choices within the twelve sets of statements. It is widely used. Its overall the instrument usability is very strong, and uh, moderate strength of uh, research base. And it is moderate evidence of reliability and moderate evidence of validity, and it has norms. Okay, so much of about the learning style instruments. I'm sure that today this topic can give you a hints about uh, in ideas of um, what are the learning style instruments. So you are most welcome to click the links of those um, mentioned learning style instruments and to know more about it. Of course, today in modern society, we have more modern types of uh, learning style instruments to measure the dimension or whatever dimension the learners has. You can Google it and research about modern style instruments. So qu the question I'm going to ask you is, what are the more, uh, modern learning style instruments that you may know? And also what critique can you make about these uh, learning, sorry, learning um, style instruments that you can discuss with, uh, with us and put your comment down in the uh, comment section below. And uh, it is actually very uh, worth to research and make a clear distinction between each one of them uh, for the fruitful uh, adult continuing education learning programs for the learners and the students. That's all for me today. It is a very short topic and uh, for awesome suggestion, remember to put me through the links in the description section below as I will give you awesome insights into what you need to know for your profession. And also subscribe to my channel by hitting the button if you have not, re not already. And I will give you awesome insight into what you need. Uh, like every uh, Monday and Thursday, I will give you new ingredients, new topics and new insights so you will not miss anything. And also I noticed that many of you browse and watch and listen uh, to my channel without subscribing it. So if you're subscribing to my channel, you will also help my channel to grow and which I will, I will be very appreciated. And also you can uh, gain knowledge into uh, what you need to know for your profession and your organization if you are interested. So that's all for me today. So if you think the content is good, uh, remember, remember to put a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Finally, that's all for me today and thank you for tuning in and be with me today. Until next time and goodbye.